Welcome to Digging with Deej. Um, the last couple weeks it has been in the 90s with really high humidity. So I haven't been metal detecting. Um, I, my, I just got the okay from the doctor to get back detecting. Um, the last time I metal detected and found anything decent was my uh, bucket list of relic video which you probably already watched by now and so this is the time of the year July that I start black raspberry picking I make seedless jam and I make canned blackberry lemonade concentrate so as you can figure out I have to pick a lot of blackberries so I'm going to take you to one of my secret patches and there's many places you can go um, I have permission to be where I'm at so let's get on to the patch so the fastest way to pick berries is to be able to pick them with both hands and how I do this I take a uh, vinegar gallon jug and I take about three yards of some kind of rope I make a slip knot at the end I run it through the handle okay put it through the slip knot Bring it around and tie it. I've got it right here in front of me and I pick with both hands and put it in there. One thing I do is I pick the coolest part of the day when I know that my favorite berry patch will be in the shade. And I pick the berries, only the berries that are ripe. Now, it usually takes about two days, two hot days, full sun days, for the next picking. You know, for there to be berries ripe at the next picking. Um, I wear bug spray because I have been stung by bees before. Um, and bug spray repels all bugs. And at least it works for me anyway. Always wear long pants. And look underneath other leaves because there'll be a lot of ripe berries hiding under the leaves. And only pick the blackberries. The ones that still have red in them are, are not going to be sweet. But what I like about this homemade berry caddy, I can't dump it unless I literally fall on the ground. See what I mean? It's a lot faster being able to pick with two hands than one. And be sure to look underneath the other branches carefully so you don't get ripped up by the thorns because the branches do have thorns.
the best time to pick berries is after a heavy rain because they literally double in size and they are in the shade the majority of the day and this is one of those plants that's in the shade see how these berries are double the size of the other ones be very careful and watch where you walk look out for groundhog holes this is what I'm talking about groundhog holes because groundhogs eat berries and I stepped in that didn't see it there was stuff over it so be careful you don't want to break an ankle and always hydrate the whole time you're picking be drinking water because you'll hit the mother load of patches and you'll get excited just like you do in metal detecting and bottle digging and you'll forget to hydrate so bring your water with you look at all look at all them berries it's a good harvest this year now i've only been here 20 minutes maybe and half of that I spent actually filming look at that so can you imagine if I was here for an hour I probably have a full bucket by now so this is my secret weapon for raspberry and black raspberry picking a couple acres of black raspberries here. I love the sound of the blue jay. <laughs> 